My personal control setup is TFGH. The reason I use TFGH over WSAD arrow keys or ESDF is for many reasons. For one, with the offset of W to S, T and G are the same offset as opposed to E and D. E is a little bit more to the left and the arrow keys are vertically above each other. So when WSAD is the ergonomic way, TFGH is the same offset. In addition to having TFGH, you have a lot more keys to the left and the right as opposed to ESDF. You only get about four to the left, and then you have these keys here. But if you're on TFGH, you have a lot more keys on the left and the right side. Another bonus is that when you have ESDF, your thumb will be about here. When you have WSAD, your thumb is about here. Your thumb can't really do much, but if you have on TFGH, your thumb should align somewhere around the comma, M, space, and alt key. What this does is it allows your thumb to access all of the keys within this area, and then your pinky, when it's on WASD, would rest on the shift, but on TFGH, it can rest on the X key. When you have the keys all in this way, you can access a lot more keys. My key controls in Counter-Strike Go are set as this forward, back, left, and right, and then walk is that. I didn't set up any of the grenades, but I have all the keys on the left and the right side that I can access anything I want. This is why I believe that TGFH is a superior key com combination as opposed to ESDF, WSAD, and the arrow keys.